Well, first of all, I, I grew up in the 60s where, you know, civil rights was at a peak. You know, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, you know, when the guys in the sports world, uh, Jim Brown, Bill Russell, Muhammad Ali, you know, Willie Mays and, and Hank Aaron. And you could see that the balance of, I guess, society sometimes was not always I, I, I say a fair playing field. And growing up in a community that would sometimes say, you know, you're, you're, you're a black man, it's gonna be harder for you. Uh, you know, you're, you're not treated equal. You hear these things growing up. And sometimes that warps the mindset of an individual. And I wish only then that I knew God at that time. But when I, w w as I started to grow and strive to be, I remember James Brown had a song, Say It Loud, I'm Black and I'm Proud. You know, and, and that's the attitude that I, I, I grew up under. So I always felt like, okay, you're a black man, you can accomplish. Show the world that you're more than what society says you are. And I still have some of that deep down inside of me that I don't care the way the world portrays black people in general, but you have to be the one that separates that mindset. Show them that you're willing to work hard, you're willing to go through the, the, the trials, the tribulations, the struggles, to come out on the winning side. That you can represent an organization, a people, a, a family, in a positive way that they see that is possible. And I, I understand that should be the same pre premise for all of mankind, no matter who you are, that God put us on this earth to become what he put us here for. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, many are plans in a man's heart, but it's the Lord's purpose that will prevail. So it doesn't matter what people say that I am, it's what I believe and, and, and think that I can be that matters the most. So never will I ever let anybody put a limit on who I am and what I'm capable of being.